Hello everyone. Today we are doing my favorite part in chapter three in The Hobbit. Love your kitty, Snickle. <laughs> my favorite part in chapter three was uh, elves. And uh, yeah, so the elves. I am going to sing one of the elves' songs. Starting now. What are you doing and where are you going? Your ponies need showing. The river is flowing. Oh, tra la 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 lee. Here down in the valley. Oh, what are you seeking and where are you making? The faggots are raking and bagnocks are baking. Oh, trillalali, the valley, the valley is jolly. <laughs> oh, where are you going with beards all a wagging? No knowing, no knowing. What brings you, Mr. Baggins? And Balin and Dwalin down into the valley in June. Ha ha ha. Oh, will you be staying, or will you be flying? Your ponies are straying, the daylight is dying. To fly would be folly, <laughs> to stay would be jolly. And listen t and hark till the end of the dark, to our tune, ha ha ha. They, so they laughed and sang in the trees, and pretty fair nonsense. I dare say you think it not that they would care. They would only laugh all more if you told them so. They were elves, of course. Soon Bilbo caught a glimpse of them as the darkness deepened. He loved elves, though. He seldom meet them, but he was a little frightened of them, too. Do dwarves don't get on well with them. Even decent enough dwarves, like Thorin and his friends, think them foolish. Now that is different. Which is a very foolish thing to think. Or get annoyed with them for some elves tease them and laugh at them and most of all at their fluffy beats <laughs> but that is my favorite part in chapter three for today so stay blessed make the world a better place one person and one moment at a time come in here be and like and subscribe so we can get to 1,000 subscribers. So we can start beekeeping like this little bee right here. Yes, you see the little bee. <laughs> Bye! Almost forgot one thing. Love Nicole's cats. Bye-bye.